feel uninvited Left home in West LA, I'm not excited But now I can walk Nuna, don't be stubborn, let him carry you You looked at him astonished But my ankle is fine But you have to be careful, we just came back from the hospital How can you walk? You scoff, it was just a small sprain, my leg has not fractured Then also you have to take precautions Chung so up Nuna, don't act like a child, be a good girl and let Appa carry you You looked at Jungkook who have a slight grin on his face Shall we go, baby? He mouthed the word baby so that Jungsu won't hear that. You rolled your eyes and he started walking towards the door. I will see you later. You can see me whenever you want. I'm not going anywhere. Forward. Just for you, baby. Oh, I'm feeling so embarrassed. You said while closing your eyes. Whom you are embarrassed to? Me? Don't worry. I'm enjoying it so much. You looked at him astonished. My boy is right. No need to be ashamed. You gave him a death glare. He's learning all this from you. Isn't it great? After all, he's my son. You hit his shoulder. You all came inside the living room, but Jungkook's face stopped when he saw Yura sitting on the couch. Yura, mom. When her eyes fell on Jungkook, who was standing carrying you in his arms, she raised her eyebrow and got up from the couch. She walked closer and stand in front of them. Who is she? He looked at Jungkook. Jungkook, put me down. He let you down carefully and helped you in standing. Yura was watching his actions and her hands clenched into fists. May I know what's going on here and who is she? Mom, she's Nuna, my tutor. She looked at you narrowing her eyes. She walked closer to you as you started feeling nervous. She looked at Jungkook. May I know why you were carrying her like that? Nuna sprained her ankle and Appa was taking her in her room. She looked at him shocked. Her room? She lives here? Yes, she lives here with us. He said while looking straight in her eyes. How can you let her live in this house? Are you crazy? This is my house and I'm the one who decide whom to let in or not. Yes mom and Nuna will always stay with us. She angrily looked at you. How dare you step inside this house. I know what type of girl you are. You are one of those gold diggers who trap rich men. Yura. She didn't listen to Jungkook and was keep yelling at you. You are trying to seek attention for, of my man with this innocent face. She raised her hand to slap you but Jungkook grabbed her wrist and came in middle of you too. Don't you even dare to lay hands on my woman. Your eyes widened. What? What did you say? There's nothing between you and me now, so mind your own business. She scoffed. How can you say that? What about Jung Su? Jung Su came near you and hold your hand. I want to live with Nuna and not you. Jung Su, you're talking to your Oma like this just because of this girl. You've never considered me your son and same goes to me. I don't consider you my mom. Jungsu, don't yell at my son. She looked at you angrily. I'm not going to spare your life. And she angrily left from there. Jungkook turned towards you. Are you okay? Why you did that? He remained silent. I'm asking you why you did that. You screamed your lungs out. Because I love you. Did you ask me if I love you or not? I know you did and I want you to live here forever. Not as Chung Su's Nuna but as his mom. And what if I deny? Chung Su hugged your waist. 
please don't say no nuna i also want you to be my mama please be by my side forever jung so please leave me he broke the hug and looked at you what happened nuna you quickly run towards your room appa is she going to leave us don't worry she won't Jungkook bent down and held his hand. Jungsu, do you really want to be have Wayan as your mom? Yes, Appa. I really like Nona so much, and I'll be more than happy if she become my mom. We will be a happy family, right? Jungkook smiled and nodded. But Appa, I think Nona is mad at us. What if she leaves because we didn't ask for her permission and said all these things so suddenly? Don't worry my son. Appa will never let her go. But I think she is a bit annoyed with us so. So, he smiled and stood up straight. Let's make dinner and cook her favorite dishes. I think she will forgive us. Jungsu giggled. But Appa, do you know how to cook? Don't worry my son. Your Appa is a master chef. Let's get it. Jungsu laughed and followed him. What was that? Ash, are these two crazy? How can they say something like that so seriously? You dropped yourself on the bed, spreading your arms and were looking at the ceiling like father, like son. But why I'm blushing? I should be angry. You quickly got up and stared in front of the mirror. Don't tell me that you also want this. You start talking to yourself in the mirror. Oh girl, how can you? I mean, yeah, he's handsome, caring, sweet, loving, and any girl would fall in love with him. He's the perfect guy every girl dreams of for, but still. But what? The mirror they may start talking to you. If you like him, then what? Didn't you also dream of a guy like him? You are getting the same family as you always wanted. A partner who will love you more than anything, a son who loves you a lot and wants you to be his mother. What else you want, Wayan? Why are you holding back yourself? Just feel the colors of happiness in your as well as their dark and lonely lives. I also want to tell him that I love him so much, but but I'm shy. He pouted and sat on the bed. What should I do now? Suddenly you heard a knock on the door. Nona, you can come in Jungsu. He opened the door and walked near you. Nona, are you angry? Why? Why would I be angry? I'm sorry Nona if you felt uncomfortable with what me and Appa said earlier. He was looking so sad. You picked him up and made him sit on your lap. What happened to my strong boy, huh? Why is your face down? He looked at you. Nuna, I know I was wrong, but please don't leave me and Appa after this. You got this face and smile. Chungsu, I'm still unemployed and if I left from here, I have to live on street because I don't have any other job. He giggled. I just totally forgot that you came here as my tutor. You smiled and I'm still your tutor. He laughed and nodded. Nuna, dinner is ready. Appa is cooking your favorite food. Appa? Why he is cooking? Don't know. Maybe he want to make you happy. Jungsu, did you know how to cook? He sighed. Go and see yourself. He quickly ran towards the kitchen. Oh my god, what's all this? You gasped and put your hands on your mouth. The whole kitchen was an extreme mess and pile of utensils inside the sink. And there he was, Mr. John Jungko, completely focused on making food with all the dedication. As soon as he heard you, he turned towards you while staring whatever he was cooking. The moment you saw his clothes and face, he started laughing so hard, holding your stomach. He looked at you confused. What happened? Why are you laughing? You didn't say anything and were continuously laughing. Within a second, Jungso also joined you. Yeah, why you two are laughing, huh? You managed to speak between your laugh. Just look at yourself. You, 
यू आर लुकिंग एट अ किड हु जस्ट केम आफ्टर प्लेइंग इन सैम अपा वो यू प्लेइंग विद द फ्लावर हिस्स क्लोथ एंड फेस वॉज कवर्ड विद फ्लावर यू टुक द टावल एंड वॉक क्लोज विद हिम वो यू ट्रेंड टू बिकम मास्टर शेफ यू सर वेल वाइपिंग द फ्लोर फ्रॉम द स्ट्रीट अ स्मॉल स्माइल अपेयर ऑन हिस्स फेस ना आई वॉज ट्रेंड टू बिकम अ बेस्ट हस्बैंड फॉर माई सून टू बी वाइफ हु कैन कुक हर फेवरेट फूड टू मेक हर हैप्पी You again get speechless but felt good inside when he called you his soon to be wife. Oh god, when will you mend yourself? Peter got never. I'm going to be like this forever. I've never seen a flirty mafia like you. Then isn't it good? You never find a handsome sexy and cute mafia husband like me. Aren't you too much self devoted? Is it wrong? And I can also be a loving and devoted husband. Try me. You two were talking continuously without noticing that the kid is looking at both of you from so long. <coughs> I think the food is getting cold. You quickly backed up and looked at Jung Soo Hwa, smiling awkwardly. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, yes, I think we have to start eating. You all sat on the chair and Jung Soo served the food. Jungsu scrunched his face, looking at the food. What is this? Well, I lost my appetite just by looking at it. Appa, are you sure that we can eat this? Yeah, you guys are so evil. It took me more than three hours to cook all this for you. Jungsu looked at you. No, na. Jungsu, I think we have to eat. Your appa cook all this with so much love. Let's not upset him. Jungsu sighed. Okay, you took a bite. You were nervous a little at first, but then you looked at him astonished. It tastes so good, actually. Wow, you are right, Nuna. I'm still surprised. How can he cook so well? Jungkook was glaring you too. You guys are saying all this to make me happy, right? No, Appa, we are not that great. But the food is actually good. Yes, Jungsoo is right. This is delicious. You said while stuffing your mouth. Really? He also took a bite and bright smile curved on his face. Hey wow, guys, this is actually good more than I thought. You all finished the food and were talking randomly. Did you like the food? He smiled widely and nodded. Did you like that tteokbokki? Yep, I love it. Did you love that kimbap? Yep, it was delicious. That seaweed soup? You nodded. Yep, I like everything you cook. Oh, then do you love me? Yep, it was also good. Wait, what? You looked at him when you realized what he said. He started laughing so hard showing his bunny teeth. Yeah, John John Cook, at least you agreed. I was talking about the food, but you clearly said that yep, it was good. I said the food was good, okay? Nuna, let's go for a night walk. Wow, that's a good idea. Then let's go. We'll eat ice cream too. A mischievous smile appeared on your face. Where are you going, Mr. John John Cook? He looked at you confused. Huh? Who's gonna clean all this mess? You said while pointing at the mess he created. Ajumma will take care of it. Why Ajumma? You are the one who did all this. It's your responsibility to clean this. But I made the dinner for you guys. That's not our problem. You looked at Jungso. Let's go, Jungso. He hold your hand and smile. Yes, Nuna. You started walking towards outside. Yeah, you two demons. Just wait for me outside. I'll come quickly after cleaning all this. He said loudly. You and Jensu laughed and went outside. Wow, this is so beautiful. He said while looking everywhere, walking ahead of you and Jungkook. Wow, there is a swim. Luna, can I go there? He said while pointing at the swim. You smiled and nodded. Okay, but be careful. Thank you. And he quickly ran from there. You looked at Jungkook. He is looking so happy. He nodded. You were looking around because you were feeling a bit nervous walking alone with Jungkook. But your eyes widened when he held your hand and turned it into his. What are you doing? What? I did nothing. Leave my hand, Jungkook. Jungkook will see us. Don't worry, he is not here. And let him see this because he also wants his mom and dad to love each other. 
Your cheeks turned red. I have never agreed to be your wife yet. He came more closer to you that your noses were almost touching. I know that it's already a yes. And what if I deny? Your heart started beating fast when he slid his hand around your waist. Aren't you trying too hard to get? Why? Do you want to give up? He chuckled and pulled you more closer. Your hands were on his chest to maintain a bit distance. There is no such word like giving up in John Jungkook's dictionary. Oh really? From where did you get that rubbish dictionary? He looked at you surprised. You know what? I've never seen a clingy and flirty mafia like you. He slyly grinned. I think you have so much to see yet. Don't worry baby, your man will show you everything. I didn't say yes yet. Don't worry, try your best, I'm enjoying. I'm not that easy to get. A snick appeared on his lips. Oh really? Let me see. He start coming more closer to your face, staring down your lips. You start feeling nervous. Yeah, what are you doing? He said he didn't say anything. His lips were about to touch your lips. Your mind stopped working completely because of the closeness between you two and your eyes automatically closed and you were all ready to feel his lips on yours. He opened his eyes and saw you. A grin appeared on his face as he saw you were completely lost in him. He moved more closer and kissed your forehead. You opened your eyes and looked at him confused. What, did you expect something else? He gasped and dramatically put his hand on his mouth. Did you thought I'm gonna kiss you on your lips? Your face turned red due to embarrassment. No, I, I didn't thought of anything like that. He narrowed his eyes. Really? Then why are you close your eyes? That was just... That was what? Don't lie to me. I know that you thought I'll kiss you and you were waiting for that. No, I was not. He started teasing you. You gave in and was about to leave from there but he grabbed your waist and pulled you closer. Is that your first kiss? Of course, he chuckled. I'm glad that it's me. You should be glad. Then should I assume that you're mine now? You stopped walking and looked at him. Do I need to say anything? He chuckled and nodded. Yes, because I want to hear it from you. After all, I did so much hard work just to hear a yes from you. He bent down on his knees and take out something from his jacket. What are you doing? He opened the box in front of you. Will you marry me, Ryan? Don't tell me that you came here with all planning. He chuckled and got up. You should be a detective. Well, yes, you're right. Oh, that's why jung haven't came yet. You do plan this? Yep, because now he wants to see his Oma when he come back. I should have known about this. So now, would you like to be my other half? You smiled and nodded. I would love to. He smiled and slid the ring in your finger. I love you, baby. And he hugged you tightly. This is the last time I'm telling you, do not bathe me, okay? But I like it. If you like to sleep in the couch, then it's all fine. Oppa? He said, highlighting the word Oppa. Yeah, don't call me Oppa. Why? Aren't you older than me? Yes, but I prefer something else rather than this. But I like it. You run from there and he chased after you. A smile appeared on your lips when you saw the most handsome and beautiful guy waiting for you at the altar. Your dream partner. You looked at Jin who was standing beside you interwinding his arms with yours just like a loving father or a sweet and caring older brother.
you start taking steps forward. With every step, your heart was beating so fast. You saw Jung Soo standing with his uncle, looking like a gentleman in the suit. He has the most beautiful smile on his face. You smiled at him and now you came to the altar. Jungkook walked forward and extended his hand towards you. Jin gave your hand and his thank you, Oppa. He smiled and walked towards other members. Soon the marriage started and you guys were saying your vows. Jungsu, are you happy? I'm beyond happy that I couldn't believe my parents are getting married in front of me. Jimin came near Jin. Hmm? Are you sure that you and Vyan are not long lost siblings? What? Yep, you're right. He was looking like his brother while taking her to the altar. Do you guys also think same? He said while making a surprise look. What do you mean by you also? I had this thought since the beginning. She also likes to tell jokes just like Jin Hyung. If it's like that, I would love to have a sister like her. You can kiss the bride now. With that, everyone started clapping. They uncovered Jung Soo's eyes. Uncle, what are you doing? You can't see them while kissing. Why wouldn't I? Because you are too young. Don't worry, I've seen them before too. They all looked at him shocked. What? They already kissed before? And you s saw them? He shrugged his shoulder and looked at his parents who were now coming towards them. Umma, he ran to you and hugged your waist tightly. You're looking so handsome, my son. Jungkook picked him up and walked near his youngs. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you, Oppa. Wow, you guys are so fast, huh? Jimin hit him with his elbow and signed him to shut his mouth. Nothing, he was just congratulating you both in his own way. You all laughed. Jungsu kissed his dad's cheek. Thank you so much, Appa, for keeping your promise. Jungkook smiled and kissed his cheek. I can do anything for my son. Jungsu, are you happy? So much. Okay, guys, can we have a sweet family photo? Sure.